prove that the statements in 12 through 14 are false. There exists an integer n such that 6n squared plus 27 is prime. Now this statement is an existentially quantified statement, meaning that finding a counterexample is insufficient to prove that this statement is false. Maybe your counterexample isn't the special integer n that we were looking for. So we need to prove that for all integers n, that 6n squared plus 27 is not prime. How can we do that? Well, we can do that by proving that the negation of this statement is true. One strategy to prove that a statement is false is, is to prove that the negation is true. Similarly, one way to prove that a statement is true is to prove that the negation is false. So this is a very common strategy to approach proofs. So we're gonna prove that for every integer n, 6n squared plus 27 is not prime. How do we do that? Well, we're gonna let n be an integer. So this is the assumption of this conditional statement. So now we have instantiated an integer n that's arbitrary and fixed. And we need to show that for this integer n, that 6n squared plus 27 is not prime. So now that we've detailed what our assumptions are, now let's investigate 6n squared plus 27. Well, 6n squared plus 27 can be written as 3 times 2n squared plus 9. And that's by algebra. So we've successfully factored this number 6n squared plus 27 into two numbers, 3 and 2n squared plus 9. 2n squared plus 9 is not equal to 6n squared plus 27. Why is that important? Well, let's take a look at the definition of a prime number. An integer n, which by the way, we're not using n, we're using 6n squared plus 27. So if that integer is prime, well, that would mean that this integer is greater than 1. And for all positive integers r and s, if n equals r times s, which in this case, our integer 6n squared plus 27 is equal to an r times an s, where r is 3 and s is 2n squared plus 9, then either r or s equals n. But that's not the case since s does not equal n and r, 3, is not equal to 6n squared plus 27 since n squared is positive, 6 would be positive, and 27 is positive. There's no way that could equal 3. So 6n squared plus 27 is neither equal to r nor s, which means that by definition of prime, 6n squared plus 27 is not prime. So what have we proven? We've proven that for all integers n, 6n squared plus 27 is not prime. So if that statement is true, then that means according to the law of non-contradiction that the negation of this statement is false. So what is the negation of the statement? It is false that there exists an integer n such that 6n squared plus 27 is prime. So just a brief review of what we did here, instead of proving that this statement is false by exhausting every integer n, we instead proved that the negation of the statement is true, that for all integers n, 6n squared plus 27 is not a prime number. By proving the negation is true, that means the original statement is false. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.